a walking like Jules advert or something. Do you know what I mean? I, I think I'm gonna send this back. It's exactly the kind of thing you could probably buy from one of those shops that I just dissed, so just ignore me. What is wrong with me? Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Hannah and I post lifestyle, fashion and home content. So yeah, hope you enjoy here. Hope you stick around. So today's video is a what I got for Christmas video slash like fashion haul. Cause yeah, a lot of it was clothes and stuff. And, um, but yeah, everything um, that I share is still uh, in stock and still available to buy. So yeah, um, even though it's a little bit after Christmas. If you see anything you like, you can buy it. So yeah. So I'll start off with what I'm wearing at the moment. Um, so I've got this hoodie from Urban Outfitters, which is, do you know what this, I don't even know how you say that. If you know Urban Outfitters, then you obviously will know this brand because they do so much stuff. Is it like Ietz France, I think? But um, I'll just move the camera back actually. Um, yeah, and it's kind of a I'd say it's slightly more brown than gray it's like a really gray brown um and it's obviously like it's meant to is the style of it but it looks like old it looks really worn it's like yeah this real like brushed cotton effect and then obviously the logo here is pink I'm sure they do it in different colors I haven't looked online but usually they do all of their like hoodies and trackies and stuff in different colors um yeah and I really like the length because um you know, if you're cold, because when you wear jumpers, I love, obviously, I love like the look of crop jumpers, but you wear jumpers when it's cold, don't you? And I don't know if I'm just old, but I just get really cold around my middle sometimes. So sometimes I actually like something that's long. Um, but yeah, it's long, but it's not like really oversized. So you can like tuck it up and stuff if you do want the cropped, more of the cropped effect. And then I also got these joggers, these Adidas joggers. They're like a peach color. Um, yeah, and I live in joggers, especially now, like working from home, like loads of people. So yeah, they're just like um, baggy 90s style joggers. I forgot to say, um, those joggers, they were Adidas, but um, Mark got them from me and I know he got them from ASOS. So yeah, um, this little black crop top here is from Bershka. So yeah, just like a basic, but really cute um turtleneck and yeah we'll obviously just go with everything um so yeah i forgot to take my um top off so i've just tucked that up and then these trousers which i am obsessed with um are also from bershka so i'm wearing like the worst knickers with them because well i don't actually you can't really see but i would obviously wear seamless knickers with them um yeah, they are on the tight side. They're an, both of these are an extra small. I think everything actually in this haul will be an extra small. But yeah, these are on the tight side. Only because like they give a bit of a camel toe, <laughs> which isn't ideal. Um, but yeah, so then I'll just show you the bottom as well. So they've got this really cute split. Um, I'd probably wear them with boots actually rather than trainers. I mean, they go with trainers, but I just think boots will look a little bit better. Um, yeah, so I think this... I, I think this outfit is really cool, actually. Like I would wear these items together. I've tried to pair things I've got um, together so that you can kind of see a little outfit. But yeah, these trousers I'm just obsessed with. These got these like pleats and yeah, they're just like a brown color. Um, let's check something else on. So I've also got this, uh, it's like a really thin uh, corduroy, which yeah, I feel like obviously usually you just see the thicker stuff. Um, it's like a mustard colour shirt um, from Zara and it's just like baggy and oversized. Weirdly, I have this, the exact same shirt, it looks exactly the same and I'm sure it is exactly the same, in beige, which I want to say is like four years old or something. So yeah, it's funny they've brought it back around. Like it is literally the same, like same fit, same material. Um, yeah, so... I need to find some outfits to go with this one. And then um, you guys will have seen this jumper because I've definitely worn it in a video. But just like a basic uh, jumper. And again, it's the same as the other one. It's like not really oversized. So I feel like it's just that really nice in betweeny. I really like that in betweeny length at the moment where it's not really long and baggy, but it's not like 
up here getting you cold. Um, where's this from actually? I feel like this is Bershka. Oh no, Zara. Um, yeah, so I've been wearing this quite a lot actually. I really like it. I probably wouldn't wear it with a polar neck, but um, yeah, that's really nice. Right, I really wasn't sure about this, but um, I've been told that it's too late to send it back, so I've got to keep it anyway. Um, the only thing I wasn't sure of was the colour, um, because obviously it's like an outer garment. I kind of would rather it in a black or something. Um, I did look online, they also do it in a khaki. It doesn't actually look like they do it in a black, but anyway, um, the sleeves I've left upstairs, um, but it is a coat and then it has zip off sleeves and turns into this gilet. So I do love a gilet or gilet, whatever you call it. Um, this one's just very baggy. Um, just turn around and show you the, yeah, so, I, I'm keeping it anyway, because I have to, so <laughs> I gotta find some stuff to wear this with. I'd probably wear it with like baggy, I've got some like baggy brown jeans. Yeah, I would def I think I'd stick to the browns rather than the blues, otherwise I feel like I'd look like a walking like Jules advert or something. Not that any of this is from Jules. Do you know what I mean? When I say that, like I feel like blue jeans with like this kind of color is what like yummy mummies wear. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. It's um, it's it's quite thin. Um, it's got zips here. Just do it up. Um, it does have a drawstring here, which I got quite excited about. But it's just for like the look, which is really annoying. Um, so yeah, I need to find something to wear this with. But yeah, it does come with sleeves, which I thought you can imagine what they're like. And I'm just gonna wear it as a gilet anyway. So yeah, that's that one, and that's from Zara, which I think I said. Okay, and then I, I think I'm gonna send this back. Um, it's very hippie vibes, bless him. I get why he got it for me. Um, it's from Bershka, which I'm not gonna lie, made me like it more when I realized that. Um, but yeah, it's like very hippie, baggy. I think this would go really well with like my baggy uh, brown jeans, um, just like the whole baggy vibe. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure about it. So obviously it's a hoodie. It's really thin um, and baggy. And yeah, it's like this, I don't know, ombre situation. Uh, like long baggy sleeves and I have long arms. So it's definitely long. Sometimes things are a bit short in the arm for me. Um, yeah, I just, do you know what it is? If you live near me, which some people watching this might, where I grew up, um, there's like a bit of a hippie, can be a bit of a hippie scene. I mean, it's just like a normal town, like you get your chavs, but there's, there were like a couple of hippie shops growing up, right? And I know this is from Bershka, but this is the exact thing you'd have been able to buy from one of these hippie shops, you know, where you walk in and the smell of the incense just hits you. And so I think I just associate this with like full on hippies. There's nothing wrong with full on hippies, but I am not a full on hippie. So even though I think this is cool, I just don't know if I can get that like out of my head. I mean, it's not like rainbow colors, like obviously it's more muted, but yeah, I don't know. Like, let me know what you think of it. Like, I also have a tendency to wear like what 18 year olds wear. This is totally like what an 18 year old hipster would wear. And I feel like maybe I should steer away from that. So yeah, I don't know, <laughs> let me know what you think. Again, I wouldn't wear it with this underneath, but um, yeah. Let's move on to the next thing. Next, I've got a skirt, which I haven't tried on yet, but I'm really excited about it because I really like it. There's me saying I'm not sure about the hippie stuff. This skirt is like, it's exactly the kind of thing you could probably buy from one of those shops that I just dissed. So just ignore me, basically. Um, this is from Urban Outfitters. So it's like this, I don't know. What is this print, like a 70s? So it's like, uh, three tones of green and a purple. It's got this cute, which is like in at the moment, kind of like underwear, isn't it? With a little bow. Um, yes, yeah, so this is, oh, I've put you down very low there. This is what it looks like. So it's like pretty long and it's got this kind of like frilly thing going on. Oh, look at my nail there, it's coming off. Um, yeah. 
I I like it. It fits well as well. It's an extra small and it's like really stretchy. Yeah, I just think it's a little bit different. I actually think it will go really well with this first hoodie. Like, I know you might not think those two would go together necessarily well, but I feel like if you're going with the baggy hippie hipster vibes, then that could work. But also it can be dressed up because it's like a mesh. Yeah, so I feel like you can dress it up, dress it down. Um, it is very long, but I do like it. I do like things. Sometimes I'm just a bit of a basic B when it comes to fashion. Well, I am most of the time these days, to be honest. But every so often, I like to throw in something a little bit quirky. So, yeah, I really like that. Um, yeah, did I actually say I was going to do clothes first? I mean, it's too late for that now. But that's all of the clothes. I'm not showing, like, everything that I got. Um, but like, just cause some stuff like I've already worn, like stuff like socks and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show like main bits. Um, so yeah, oh, I'm already wearing one of the things I was going to show you. So this is a little bracelet from my little niece. So cute. Sorry, I'm so out of breath. <laughs> Why am I out of breath? I have not been anywhere. Um, why can't I get it? It says Penny and Hannah. I don't know if that's focusing or not. Um, and then it's, so that's gold. And then it's got this little silver star. Um, and it's from, where is it? A company called Bloom Boutique. So yeah, it came in this little box. So I feel like this is a really cute gift idea if you've got anyone's birthday or anything coming up. Um, I'm gonna have to get some things taken out of it. I have the most ridiculously small wrists though, don't go by, I mean, unless you've got really tiny wrists like me, don't go by me. Um, but yeah, cause it is pretty massive on me, but it's so, so sweet. And um, there's such a cute meaning behind the little star because, which I'd never even heard of before. So um, apparently the star meaning is like for aunties because you don't always see them, but they're always like there in your heart or whatever. And it's like, that's actually really cute because, um, so this is Mark's, Mark's niece, Penny. Um, they live up north and obviously we live down south, so we don't see them all the time. Um, and then her other auntie is in America, so obviously they see them even less. And um, yeah, so I just think that's such a cute meaning. And I had no idea. So yeah, if anyone needs an auntie present, the star thing, I'm not even showing you, am I? It's so, so cute. Um, yeah, so that was from wherever I said that was from. Where have I put it? Well, I told you anyway, it's just like I can't remember what I said. Well, I just mentioned socks. I haven't opened these yet. Um, these are really cute. Where are these from? Oh, they're from Anthropology. Um, they're just like, uh, what would you even call that? I don't know, like shiny material. And yeah, they're just really cute and nice. It's nice getting nice socks for presents. Um, <clears throat> and then I got this. Do you know what? I actually don't know where this is from. Probably somewhere like Etsy. Oh, it's got a brand. It's, oh, sorry. It's pa papia or papia.com. Um, yeah, so it's really nice. I mean, I'm into like my astrology and stuff. So this is quite cute for me. Um, but yeah, it's personalized goal planner. Um, yeah, so it's, it's just plain on the inside. So you can obviously use it for like notes or whatever. I don't know. I wonder if you can like personalize that as well. Um, as well as the name, but yeah, it's really cute. And I, I feel like I'm still in Christmas. Like I still got my tree up. Um, still haven't celebrated Christmas with my family because we've all had COVID at various different points. Um, doing that this weekend, hopefully, unless anyone else comes down with it. So what am I actually trying to say? Yeah, so I, I have not even, I feel like I'm not in January yet. So I need to like get, get on this. This is really cute. I feel like this is from, yeah, M&S, an M&S beauty pouch. I think personalized things are just really cute and these kind of things always come in handy. Like when I go away, I like to have something different for like, I don't know, whether it's like makeup or jewelry or sanitary towels. This would be really good for period stuff actually. Like it's quite a good size. Um, yeah, so that's really cute. I got this candle um, from a brand I've never heard of before, Field Day. 
um, and it's I Feel Lucky Clover. I'm not sure whether the scent is meant to be clover, but you know what? Obviously you can't smell it, which is annoying. I've never smelled a candle like this before because it actually smells of plant, like it smells. It smells almost like the stems of a flower. Um, I think this might be, a, I think this might make me a bit sneezy because I'm quite funny with floral scents, like I think I've said on another video, but it's not, it's more plants than flowers. But anyway, it's a really like unique smell. Like I've never smelled anything like this before. So yeah, field day if you wanna grab one of those and it's in like a nice jar, you probably keep afterwards. So on the candle theme, um, I I love Neil's Yard because it's really natural. So I got a couple of Neil's Yard candles, got a calming one and a balance one. The calming one, no doubt has lavender in it. Oh, rose and geranium, okay. Um, Yeah, rose and geranium. And then the balancing one is bergamot and patchouli. So yeah, really nice scents. Um, I've got their patchouli, uh, their patchouli essential oil actually. And then I haven't opened this yet. I'm not really a bath kind of gal um, because I just find it hard to sit still, but I feel like the fact I've been gifted this is maybe a sign that I need to, well, <laughs> I never needed a sign that I need to chill out. I've been having that sign for my whole life. But I mean like actually like an excuse to try and get on the bath hype because I feel like everyone loves a bath. So yeah, um, this is Beauty Sleep Foaming Bath, Ylang Ylang, Clary Sage and Patchouli. Uh, yeah, so that sounds nice. And then a geranium and orange soap. Um, these are all obviously still Nails Yard and then this relax um, set, which is quite cute for a gift idea actually. Comes with um, a pillow mist and then a like a roll, a roller essential oil. Um, yeah, and they're both like lavender based. They're lavender and citrus. I, um, yeah, I've used those and they're really nice. Um, and then on with like the beauty kind of thing, just got a couple of products left. So I wanted, um, I asked Mark this year for um, some kind of body moisturiser um, just because I feel like I don't moisturise regularly enough and I really should because of psoriasis. Oh, that reminds me actually, there's another press. Oh no, we haven't got two more. We got like four more. Um, yeah, so it's an awakening body cream from, I think this is probably the the brand, uh, Gaia, Gaia. I feel like I should know how to say that. I think it's Gaia. Um, yeah, obviously you can't smell this, but um, it goes really far actually. You can see I've used some, but like still loads left. Um, it actually just smells, it smells like spa. So, and yeah, it's nice, like it's a bit more aesthetic, isn't it? With it being in like this wooden box. So if you know someone that's into like natural stuff, then I don't know why I'm talking like this as a gift guide, um, but I think obviously, it's more interesting if you're looking at what I got for Christmas and you're thinking, I want some of that myself. Um, and then the brand, The Ordinary, which you may well have heard of. This is the first ever product I've used from The Ordinary. Um, I don't know why really, because they've been on my radar for years. Um, but they're, they're kind of, they're not like complete, they're not like na really natural, but like they are fairly natural. And um, but they're so cheap. They are so, so cheap. I mean, I asked for this. I don't actually know how much it was, but I want. I reckon it's like a fiver or something ridiculous. So yeah, um, I asked Mark to get me some retinol because I heard it's good for pores. To be honest, <laughs> I've been using this every day. Um, I keep meaning to actually Google it. Google, like, that's all I know about retinol, which I know sounds ridiculous. Um, yeah, I really want to Google that and just make sure I'm using it correctly. And because it came with like, a leaflet in the box and everything, but it didn't like really explain. It just said, use it after serum. But, like, I wanna know, you know, what it's doing properly. Um, yeah, so got that. Sticking on the self-care hype, this is, I thought I'd just include this because I like to try and raise awareness about psoriasis and mental health. Not that this has anything to do with mental health, but um, it's a little like psoriasis sun comb, so. Oh, I just tried to turn it on, it's not plugged in, lol. But um, it's basically like, so if you, if you know anyone that has psoriasis or you have psoriasis, 
I would definitely recommend this. So, um, psoriasis, uh, the sun is literally like the only thing. In fact, why am I still leaning down like this? It's for my clothes, wasn't it? Let's put, let's, <laughs> I want to sit down now. I'm absolutely knackered. I don't know why I've just done all of that standing up. What is wrong with me? Right. Yes, this, um, basically I have, a, the sun gets rid of my psoriasis. I mean, not permanently get rid of and you have to do it constantly, but it's like the only thing that will make it sort of a bit less flaky and it makes me feel a bit more confident. Um, so I have like, I don't know, how, how would you describe the size of it? Um, a fairly big like sun lamp, which I can sort of like, will do like half of my back and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I've had that for years, um, but I have quite bad psoriasis around the back of my ears, all over my scalp, my hairline, and then I always get bits that pop up on my face. And I just find that it's really heavy to like try and also like angle towards like a smaller area. So this I thought was perfect. Um, so I've used it a couple of times now and I can like do sort of my hairline like this do the front of my ear, because I get it around the front of my ear as well, like the back, and then like, I have some like on my boobs as well, but like none here. So there's been quite a few times, so obviously this is quite a thin layer of skin, especially when you're pale, your skin's thinner. Um, so when I'm like holding my lamp, I quite often will burn myself here, which is even, which is just extra frustrating because I don't have any psoriasis in that area. Um, so yeah, it's good because I can like just put it, balance it on like, certain parts and yeah I um I've got to say I was because it's called a comb I was expecting it to be um actually be able to get rid of my scalp psoriasis but you know my hair is in the way so I don't really know how great it's going to be for like my scalp specifically um but yeah so I asked my parents for that um I feel like how much is it really expensive like 180 quid or something, which I didn't really want out of my, my present budget. But if you have psoriasis, you will know that this is like worth every single penny. Well, you might not, which is kind of why I'm telling you about it. Anyway, um, finally, I got this llama cushion, which is from Urban Outfitters, um, which my mum um got which she thought I'd be obsessed with um which I am she just was expecting me to have this like I don't know like I don't even know what reaction she expected me to have um but I think I disappointed her slightly <laughs> um but yeah it's really cute and it definitely will go with like the aesthetic of our house I might even put it on our bed um yeah but it feels like there's some stuffing missing out the neck it's like someone's wrung it around the neck which is obviously not very nice so I feel like I need to try and like move that all around because it's just like a bit floppy but yeah it's cute um from urban outfitters the back's just like plain um oh one more thing lol at me saying there were two things earlier um this hot water bottle which how long is it because obviously you can't really you won't be able to tell i've never seen anything like this before um yeah so this will be really useful like it, do you know what actually this would be really good for if you get bad period pain because it actually will go like I mean it depends how skinny you are but it yeah like that's actually quite cool I never thought of that um yeah it's probably like I don't know 80 centimeters long or something like that so yeah that's cute where's that from actually I don't think it says I don't know where that one oh it did say but I took the I don't know where it's from but I'm sure if you google long hot water bottle what that was all about um you'll be able to find one so oh I forgot whilst I'm just taking my clothes off I also got this sorry you can see psoriasis there um this ear cuff which is from Topshop ASOS um yeah so it's really cute that's like basically everything that I got for Christmas I just got a couple of bits like socks and stuff like I said um, yeah, so very spoiled this year. Um, yeah, and I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I got. I'm definitely enjoying seeing other YouTubers, um, what they got for Christmas videos. So yeah, um, 
If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a like and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.